Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn CRUD REST API operations using the Fast API and the PostgreSQL. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here we have the full fledged code that we have already ready out. Okay, so let's get started with this. So first of all, we will get the demo. Okay. So first of all, we get all the items, right? So here we have the list of all the items we will try out. So execute. So here you can see that the all the list that we have that currently fetched. Okay. So here you can see and here we have the like the skip in teaser or limit how much you, you want to get. So this is how you could retrieve the records. Okay. So here you can see that we fetch all the records first. Next one that we have to get get the users by ID. So let's suppose we have the ID here 17. I want to fetch. So let's try it out with the 17th record. Let's try to execute this 17th record is fetched successfully. Next one next API would be let's close this. So create an item. So let's open it up and uh, name and the email we add. So let's add here. So John and john at the rate millinator.com okay let's try to execute this execute and here we go with the results okay so this is added let's go and check this here let's run this and here you can see that the 18th record is inserted let's try to update it okay so we have a um, next one let's me scroll down so this is put now put is there. So I'm going to update the 18th record currently I have added. So let's update this. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to put the name of this and the string would be yy at the rate millinator.com. Okay, let's try to hit this. Execute. It's updated. Let's go to the DB and check. Here you can see that it is replaced with AA and YY because previously it's John, right? Now let's delete this record. The last step, delete item. So let's here I'm going to write out with the 18th record. Let's execute this. It's executed with item deleted. And here we go with this one. Let's execute. Here we have 18th record. Let's delete this. This is done. Okay. So this is how the full fledged CRUD operation is done. The demo part, let's dive into the code level. So import the fast API depends and the HTTP exception. Then SQL Alchemy import the create engine, column, and teaser and the string. Then SQL Alchemy external declarative imp import the declarative base. Then session uh, from the SQL Alchemy ORM, we have to import the session maker and the session. And from the pandemic, by and take, we are importing the base model. Okay, so create the fast app using the initialization then define the sql alchemy models okay then here we have the item for the tables right now set up the database connection you have to use the name password and the database okay engine create engine database url create all the tables if it is not then create the session maker object to interact with the database next step we have to define the connection part using the session local okay so finally close then this is the model for the validation part. So in, in this format, we, we want to return the response, okay, and validate the data. Next, we have the example of the endpoint to retrieve the item by ID. So this is how to retrieve the item by ID. So here we have the function read item, which accepts the one path parameter, and uh, it depends on the session that is getTB. okay? So here we are filtering out the first record, right, and return the data. Next, we have the create item. So this is the model that is a pandemic model, which are trying to validate the data, right? Here we have a session D depends on the getDB. So here we have the model dump, add, commit, and refresh, okay? In Python, the double star here you can see is used for the dictionary unpacking. And when applied to a dictionary or any object that supports iteration, it unpacks key value pairs into the keyword 
arguments right so that's the reason we are using that one then we have the update the items use by the item id so here we have again the same thing then here we are filtering the data first query dot item okay and db dot item if it is not there then item is not found if it is there then we are going to set attribute with key and the value db commit db fresh and return that part okay the next one we are going to delete the items so here we're filtering out with the first and if it is not there item not found then db dot delete db item and commit the and return the message that the item deleted successfully the last one that is retrieving all the items okay so here we have to put the limit and the skip so here it will fetch according to the that you can say that about the pagination so you can just make it whether you want to 10 records two records which records you want to skip so according to it you can get it okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day